Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today, we'll talk about understanding placebos and control groups in clinical trials. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Welcome to our guide on understanding placebos and control groups in clinical trials. If you're new to the world of clinical trials, this video is tailored specifically for you. Understanding the role of placebos and control groups is essential in grasping the intricacies of clinical trials, which play a vital role in our healthcare system and drive medical advancements. Let us start by understanding placebos. A placebo is essentially a fake treatment given to participants in a clinical trial. It can be a pill, injection, or procedure that looks identical to the actual treatment but does not contain any active substance. Placebos are used as a control measure to ensure that any observed effects are due to the intervention itself and not other factors such as patient expectation or psychological factors. This phenomenon is known as the placebo effect. For example, in a trial testing a new pain medication, some participants might receive a placebo instead of the actual drug. If those receiving the placebo also report pain relief, it could indicate that factors other than the drug are influencing the results. Let us go on by understanding control groups. A control group in a clinical trial is the group that does not receive the experimental treatment. Instead, they may receive a placebo, standard care, or no intervention at all. Control groups are crucial in clinical trials as they provide a baseline against which to compare the effects of the experimental treatment. There are various types of control groups, including placebo-controlled, no treatment control, and active control groups. For instance, in a trial studying a new cancer drug, the control group might receive the current standard chemotherapy while the experimental group gets the new drug. Any difference in outcomes between these two groups can then be attributed to the new drug. But what is the role of placebos and control groups in clinical trials? Placebos and control groups significantly contribute to the validity of clinical trials. They help ensure that any observed effects are due to the interventions being tested, rather than external factors. Random assignment to placebo or control groups is crucial to maintain the integrity of the results. It ensures that any differences between participants, such as age or health status, are distributed evenly among the groups, reducing bias. However, there are ethical issues surrounding the use of placebos and control groups. For instance, it may be considered unethical to withhold treatment from a control group if an effective treatment exists. What are common misconceptions about placebos and control groups? A common misconception is that being in a placebo or control group means you're not receiving any treatment at all. This isn't necessarily true. Oftentimes, control groups receive the current standard of care rather than no treatment. Another common misunderstanding involves double-blind studies. In these studies, neither the researchers nor the participants know who's in the placebo or control group. This helps prevent bias in interpreting the results. And always keep in mind, if an emergency occurs, patients can be unblinded quickly to help them effectively. What is the impact of placebos and control groups on clinical trial results? Placebos and control groups can significantly influence trial results by providing a comparison for the experimental treatment. For instance, in a study on a new antidepressant, if participants in both the experimental and control placebo group show improved symptoms, it could indicate that the drug's effect is not as strong as initially believed. Understanding the role of placebos and control groups is fundamental to deciphering the complex world of clinic. These elements are crucial in ensuring the validity and reliability of trial results, ultimately aiding medical advancements. We encourage you to continue learning about clinical trials and their components. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research.
We look forward to see you next time.